test of this problem straight here. The question is asking, the first question is asking, find the basis and the dimension of the span 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 1, 5, 5, 3. So let's see how we can do this. First of all, uh, I, I, I have to do the course showdown to find this one. So if I do the course showdown, let's see what happens. 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 1, 5, 3, 3. So if I, I want to do the course showdown, so let's see. 1, 2, 1, minus 3, R1, plus R2. It's going to give us 0 right here. Then minus 3 times 2 is going to be, minus 3 times 2 is going to be minus 6, minus 6 plus 1 is going to be minus 5. Then minus 3 times, minus 1 is, minus 3 times 1 is going to be minus 3, minus 3 plus 1 is going to be, minus 3 plus 1 is going to be minus 2. Then the third one, we, we can make this one 0 by multiplying the first equation by negative 5 and add it to the third one. So if I do that, I will get 0 right here and minus 5 times 2 is going to be 10, minus 10, minus 10 plus 3. So minus, minus 5 times 2 is going to be minus 10, minus 10 plus 3 is going to be minus 7 and minus, wait a minute, so I think it's 5, 5, 3. So it's 5, 5, 3. So minus 5 times 2 is going to be minus 10. Minus 10 plus 5 is going to be minus 5. Minus 5. Then minus 5 times 1 is going to be minus 3. Sorry, minus 5 times 1 is going to be minus 5. Minus 5 plus 3 is going to be minus 2. So if you see, we have second row and third row with the same number. So we can eliminate one of them by multiplying the other one by negative 1 and add it to the other one. So let's do this. 1, 2, 1, 0, minus 5, minus 2. And if I multiply the second equation by negative 1, it's going to be negative r2 plus r3, which will give us 0, 0, 0 right here. Then I can simplify the second row by dividing it by negative 5. So if I divide that, it's going to be 1, 2, 1, 0, 1, 2 over 5. So I'm dividing this one by minus 5. And then I have to eliminate the value above the pivot. So in this case, uh, I have to make this one into 0. To do that, I can multiply the second equation by negative 2 and add it to the first equation. So if I do that, minus 2 r2 plus r1, which is going to give us 0 right here, 1, 0. Then minus 2 times 2 is going to be minus 4, minus 4 over 5 plus 1. So it means five, uh, 1 can be written as 5 over 5. 5 over 5 minus 4 over 5 is going to be 1 over 5. Then here we have 0, 1, 2 over 5. The last one, 1 is 0, 0, 0. Now we, are, we can answer this question. The question is asking find the basis and the diamonds for span. So basis is going to be first and second row because those are the rows that are linearly independent. So we have to write that one as the basis. So we can write basis is equal to now these two rows. So first row is 1, 2, 1. And the second row is 3, 1, 1. And this is the answer for this question. And also they are asking for the dimension. Dimension is based on the linearly independent vectors. So we have linearly two linearly independent vectors. So dimension is equal to 2. And uh, and that's all about the first question. The second question is asking, determine if 2, 5, 1, 2 is a basis for R2. Yes, because to have a R2 basis, what do you have? We have to have two linearly independent, independent vectors with two numbers, like two coordinates, x and y coordinates. So it's in, in, we have two linearly independent because one is not the multiplication of other. So we can directly say this is yes. And the second question is asking, determine if uh, 1, 1, 1, 2, minus 1, 3, 3, 0, 4 is the basis of R3. So what do we have to do? We have to check whether these three are linearly independent. If three, if these three are linearly independent, then it's yes, but we have to check whether it is linearly independent. So let's do this course order. So I'm bringing the sixth question here, right here. 1, 1, 2, minus 1, 3, 3, 0, 4. So I, this is my matrix. Then I can uh, eliminate values below zero by, by values below pivot by 
multiplying and adding. So first of all, this one to make this one zero, I can multiply the first equation by negative two and add it to the second equation. So if I do that, I will get zero right here and minus two uh, times one is going to be minus two plus minus one is going to be minus two plus one, minus one is going to be minus three. Then minus two times one is going to be minus two plus three is going to be one. The third one I can do the same thing like I can multiply the first equation by negative 3 and add it, add it to the third one. So if I do that this will become 0. Then the other one is going to be minus 3 plus 0 is going to be minus 3. And this the other one is going to be minus 3 times 1 is going to be minus 3 minus 3 plus 4 is going to be 1. Now we already know that 1 is linearly dependent because we have the same number, so when we do the ghost order, if we if we do the ghost order, zero minus three, one, and if I multiply the second equation by negative and add it to the third equation, this will become zero zero zero. So we already know this is uh, this is not a basis for R three. So let's completely finish the ghost order anyway. So in this case, one one one. If I divide this one by negative three, this is going to be one. 1 no, minus 1 over 3 and I can eliminate this one by multiplying the second equation by negative 1 and add it to the first equation. So negative r2 plus r1 is going to give us 1, 0 and negative, negative 3 is uh, 1 over 3 is going to be positive 1 over 3 3 over 3 plus 1 over 3 is going to be 4 over 3 then 0, 1, minus 1 over 3 the last one is going to be 0, 0, 0 Therefore, we know that uh, this is not a basis for R3 because we only have two linearly independent vectors. Uh, to be in basis of R3, we have to have three coordinates, but that's it. this satisfies that condition. But we don't have three linearly independent vectors. So therefore, this is not a, not a basis for R3. So that's the, that's why it's no. And the seventh question is, is uh, determine if it's a basis of R2. This has two linearly independent vectors. However, we shouldn't have three vectors. We only have to have two vectors. Like if it's just one, one, two, three, then it's yes. But if you have three things, it's no. That's why it's no. And the next question I'll see, determine if uh, one, one, three, two, one, five is a basis for R3. It's no because we have two vector vectors. I don't know whether it's linearly independent or not, but yeah, it's linearly independent because if you, multi you can multiply and get this answer, right? So it's linearly independent. However, we have to have three vectors, three linearly independent vectors and three coordinates. This has three coordinates, but we have to have one more linearly independent vector to be for this to be true. So therefore, this is no. And determine if 2, 5, 1, 2 spans are true. Yes, because we have two vectors and two of them are linearly independent. So that's the answer is yes. And that's how it's done. I hope you guys like this video. See you next time.